Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, it was an offseason filled with uncertainty for Jeff Garcia. But he landed on his feet, and now he's back as a starter. We'll get a look at the three-time Pro Bowler in action. Philadelphia Eagles, Cleveland Browns. Now! Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hello, folks. I'm Dan Steele. And welcome to Brown Stadium. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of reading the offense and ripping it to shreds. Andre Davis is a very impressive inside linebacker. He always keeps himself totally focused on the task at hand so that he can play at his fullest capacity on every down. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Nate Wayne is a very accomplished outside linebacker. You know, I'm really impressed with this guy's speed for his position. It enables him to be especially active and get in on a lot of tackles. Well, better watch out because both of these guys have a chance to make some big plays today. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. Tails it is. Phil Dawson kicking off for the Browns. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Browns football. Dawson kicks it off to begin the game. Win catches it back at the two. Dodges a tackle, dragged down at the 26. Well, it looks like the weather is cooperating with us today, but Susie has the full scoop on that. Susie. Thanks, Dan. It's a slightly breezy day today, but it probably isn't enough to affect kicks or throws that much. Let's send it back to you. Dan? Thanks, Susie. The Eagles send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Chad Lewis was open on that last one for short yardage but came up with nothing. Incomplete pass. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Westbrook gets the ball and searches for a hole. Tackled at the 27. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Browns are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. Suggs gets the call on first down and hands wide right. Lewis hunts him down and then finally tackles him just behind the line. Michael Lewis targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan, but he had it all locked up. That will bring up second down. Suggs gets the call again and picks up a couple. Lee Suggs didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down, eight yards to go. 
Garcia just rifles this one, and Quincy this Morgan one is incomplete. Receiver. Quincy Morgan had a chance for Number a mid-range completion the back there, but he just couldn't connect. No catch. That seems to be an odd call, Peter. It fell incomplete, but even if they had caught it, they still would have been three. short of the first down. I don't like those calls Number either. Got to get past Next the return. markers on those routes. It'll be fourth down. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Fields the punt at the 12. Brought down at the 18. Reno Mahe didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Eagles stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 18-yard line. Owens goes in motion. Holdman tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Warwick Holdman targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. I'm coming, man. Second, second down, one man back. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Pinston hauls it in right side and is well past the markers for a first down. First and ten. Ball at the Eagles, 36-yard line. Nab throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Donovan McNabb had no trouble singing that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Richie goes in motion. He's got Eagles. the first down and a whole lot more. Woo! Let's go! Donovan McNabb threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Let's go, team! First down, Defense. two wideouts on the field. Ball at the 40 yard line. Brings up second down. With the tackle. Dalen McCutcheon targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And at the end of that play, Peter, it goes to show you what leverage and good positioning can do when it comes to making the tackle. Yeah, and you know, Dan, that's especially important when you're outmatched on strength. That's a good play there. Thompson gets the sack at the 43. Sean Thompson got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Mitchell goes in motion. McNabb unloads this one to the left, and it's intercepted. One man to beat. Tackled at the 42. I'm coming out. Oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Browns will start this drive at their 42-yard line. Hot, hot. 
No dice, and Passes it falls incomplete. incomplete. Quincy Morgan. Quincy Morgan. Uh, that receiver. one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. Sometimes the ball bounces your way, and sometimes it... Uh, it doesn't. Exactly. I'm Second and ten. I'm Ball at the Browns, 42-yard line. Suggs carries it for the third time and chews up about four on the play. Lee Suggs is a real good back, second-year man out of Virginia Tech and a good performer out of the backfield. He draws the camera's attention most of the time because he can make it happen. We got it, Third and five. Ball at the Browns, 46-yard line. First on third and long. Steve Hyden is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. What a big play on third down, Peter. His run after the catch is what made the play work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation, and that's exactly what he did. First down from the shotgun. Garcia throws a beauty to the right side, and it's complete at the 24, and touchdown! Dennis Northcutt makes the catch and then takes it for a great run here. Now he's got it. If you give him the room, he'll be happy to take it from you. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. Here's the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Dawson kicks it off. Wynn fields the kickoff at the four. Stopped at the 28. Dexter Wynn received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. Don't touch me. The Eagles had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 28-yard line. Holdman penetrates and stops that back at the 27. Mark Holdman targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Gains three yards, and that brings up third down. All right, what have you got? Okay. All right. <laughs> Owens catches this one and tries to get free. 20, finally popped out of bounds at the 17. It will be first down. Terrell Owens made the catch and took off for a huge gain. The reception was just the beginning of the play. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First down, two receivers to the left. McNabb fires this 
this one over the middle, Eagles. and oh, no. it's caught oh, for oh, a man. touchdown. Todd Pinkston reels in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really didn't phase him there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. That touchdown will cut it close, Peter. That was a big play. Way to stay in the game. David Akers to attempt the extra point. Number 10, Colby. Here's the point after, the and... The extra point is good. It's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Akers booms a beauty here. Morgan decides to take it out of the end zone. Jukes tackled at the 20. Quincy Morgan took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Browns' offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 20-yard line. It's intercepted! One man to beat, Interception. tackled Eagles. at the 18. And this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Eagles have an extremely short field ahead of them as they will start this drive at the 18-yard line. Richie goes in motion. Westbrook carries it for the sixth time and takes it upfield. Brought down hard at the eight. It'll be first and goal. First and goal. Ball at the eight yard line. Lewis makes the catch out to the left, and he's in for the score. Donovan McNabb doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks thrown into double coverage like that and succeed. That gives him his second touchdown David of the day. And he's definitely point. making his presence felt out there as well as on the scoreboard. Now the point after and the extra point is it's good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers rockets this one deep. Morgan decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 19. Quincy Morgan got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Browns were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 19-yard line. Garcia throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. Touchdown. He's in for the touchdown. Sahani Jones intercepts the ball close to the end zone, so you know he's going for it. And he gets it. What a huge play for the defense as they put points on the board. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The extra point. Number 10, holding. 
Here's the point after, the extra and point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. After the game, let's get on that new ESPN football game. All right, man. Cool. Okay. Let's <laughs> do this. Let's do it. First the Browns have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Suggs chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. with the tackle. Second down, Second just a single receiver on the field. Brown, 24 yard line. Down. 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 Garcia zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped. Is incomplete. incomplete. Ryan Dawkins came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third and six. Ball at the Browns, 24 yard line. First on third and long. Second down and four wideouts in the game. 37 yard line. Suggs gets the call on second down and shoes up about four on the play. Number 53 with the tackle. Third and five. Ball at the Browns, 41 yard line. Garcia floats it to the right side, and it's caught at the 37, and he's stopped right there. First down. Dennis Northcutt has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. the handoff and will lose about a yard here. Javon Kurse targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Garcia throws a bullet and it's knocked that away from incomplete. the receiver, incomplete. Quincy Let's Morgan go back and revisit that receiver. last tackle in the backfield. Great stop. Well, that's indicative of the kind of play that earned Javon Kurse his nickname, The Freak. This guy's motor's always in high either. gear, and when he's 100% healthy, he is a terror to the opposing lineman. the first on third and long. Andre Davis faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. 
Oh, nice catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. his number called on first down number and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Dahani Jones, Jones was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Can we get somebody Second in here and get ten. A me, please? Ball at the 33. Suggs goes in motion. Hammers the complete. receiver and forces him to drop Number the ball. Was the Incomplete. Receiver. Nate Wayne with the coverage. This is the series. Third here, and baby. ten. We gotta stop him. Ball at the 33. Close a heater right sideline and Passes it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Matt Ware came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. The defense forces fourth down, and even if they had completed the pass, it still would have been short. Yes. You, you have to run those routes farther in that situation. Number three lines up for the punt. Number 34 to make the return. Number three takes the long snap and kicks what will be a short one. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We're bringing it. I'm bringing it. Yeah. I told you. First and ten. The Eagles offense has been effective with the long passes. Will they keep it up? Well, we're going to find out as they start off at their own four-yard line. Owens goes in motion. Westbrook chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Second and six. Ball at the Eagles. Eight yard line. Brian Westbrook wins the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. a bullet here and it's not reeled in incomplete anthony henry was on that fly ball on that last play like blue man he knew where the pass was going and he stopped it incomplete johnson lines up in his Third own end zone, zone for the punt quincy morgan to make the return <laughs> johnson gets the ball and punts it away Morgan fields it at the 49. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to hold on to the ball. Quincy Morgan racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Browns offense takes the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at the 42-yard line. Northcutt goes in motion. Suggs picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Bro, bro, 
second and eight. Well, look at those numbers Ball from last 31. year. That is impressive. Suggs gets the call again and moves forward for seven. Lee Suggs played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A decent play, and they'll now face third and, third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Third down with two tight ends to the right. Rips him down in the backfield, and that will take them out of field goal range. Fourth down coming up. Duque Kalu not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit Number for a loss. Three. They take away any and all room and prevent that play from getting past the line of scrimmage. Fourth down coming up. Number three gets the snap and kicks what will be a short one. Green gets it off the bounce at the four. Let's the Eagles, the offense comes out, they're backed against their goal, and they will start at their own five-yard line. Westbrook will get the carry on first down and choose up about four on the play. Second down, Second and six it. yards to go. Westbrook goes in motion. Pinkston catches the bullet out left, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Todd Pinkston makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. Beautiful catch, Peter, oh, and his man. stats are moving up. Moving oh, way up, Dan. He's now got 57 yards on three catches. <laughs> Westbrook dodges this one way out right Number and 36. moves forward for carrier. seven. Brian Westbrook played it smart the back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. And that'll do it for That's quarter the number the one. Quarter. The Eagles enjoying the lead 21-7. Side and is well past the markers for a first down. First down, Eagles. First down, two tight ends in the game. Off the Eagles, 48 yard line. Nab zips it to the left sideline and it's caught at the 47. Eventually tackled at the 37. That will bring up first down. Terrell Owens makes the catch, but watch here what he does after the completion. Caught and now fight for more yards. You can't coach that. They've been having some real success by keeping him on the left side of the field, Peter. Dan, that's because of the great routes he's been running. Check out the yards after the catch. That's where a receiver can earn his paycheck. Westbrook takes it for his 11th carry and gains about three yards. Second and six. Ball at the 34-yard line. Rifles it out left side, and they can't connect. Incomplete. 
They get the first on third and long. First down, Eagles. Terrell Owens had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were first incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Hey, I like those stats. Great receiving yards. Picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 23. Westbrook takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Drag down at the 14. First down. First down, Eagles. Brian Westbrook sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down with the tight end right. this one to the end zone and Passes it's tipped incomplete, incomplete. Dalen McCutcheon, with the Dalen McCutcheon came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there that would have been a touchdown but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion way to prevent the big play it'll be second down Gets Brown. out at the 30. Yeah, keep it up. There you go, baby. Yeah. Anthony Henry not only shanghais the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Browns' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 30-yard line. Northcott goes in motion. Garcia fires this one over the middle, Passes and it is not reeled in. Number incomplete. Was the intended Kellen receiver. Winslow Jr. put himself in the Number right place back there, the coming across the middle, but the catch was elusive. No dice. Another short pass and another incompletion. That area is All not right. yielding results yards. for them. Yeah, time to look elsewhere. Second down from the eye. They couldn't connect on Passes this one. Incomplete. incomplete. With the deflection. Converted, Garcia. Come on. You can do it. They're going in. Third and ten. Ball at the Browns. 30-yard line. Garcia throws a heater and it's tipped. Pass is incomplete. incomplete. It'll be fourth down. With the deflection. Lito Shepard got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. I hope I don't get my Number fingertips three. on that. Number three gets ready to punt Number this away. To make the return. <laughs> Number 
for three. Takes the long snap and punts it away. Deals the punt at the 34. Tackled hard at the 36. Reno Mahe didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Eagles come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 36-yard line. Brian Westbrook had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Smith catches the heater left sideline and Eagles. gets past the markers for a first down. LJ Smith goes to the outside here and picks up some good yardage. It's worth a second look. Nice gain, past the marker and out of bounds. That's a great play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First and 10. Ball at the Eagles, 48-yard line. Owens goes in motion. McNabb sings it to the right side and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Number Donovan McNabb lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. Terrific throw there. He's gotten off to a very good start today. His team expects nothing less from him, and neither does he. Second down, two wideouts on the field. We'll get the carry on second down and stiff arms his way to a first down. And Peter, this first is a guy that it. won't shy away from contact. He'll square those shoulders and come right at you. Heck, he'll go through you. And I'll tell you what, that was no punching Judy tackler he ran through there. Westbrook takes up about two and that brings up second down. I'm coming, Nick. Second I'm and coming. seven. Ball at the 39. Owens catches it left sideline and loses yards on that one. Dalen McCutcheon not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Third down, empty back to right. McNabb uncorks this to the left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Terrell Owens faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a ball bit the there, but this may turn him around. Look, Dan, great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. Westbrook catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Anthony okay, what's the play? The okay, let's go. Second and nine. Ball at the 14 yard line. McNabb lobs this one deep to the end zone and it's off. Incomplete. Carol Owens was out on the outside, but he didn't quite have a position to make the catch. That's incomplete, and it had a chance at seven. Oh, boy, they would love to have that play again. Third down coming up.
Westbrook goes in motion. McCutcheon makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Jalen McCutcheon came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Is good. It's up through the goal post. Good. David Akers puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. David Akers kicking off for the Eagles. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers rockets this one deep. Morgan downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Browns have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Garcia throws this on a rope, and it's intercepted. Right down at the nine. It'll be first and goal. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab, and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Eagles have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at the nine-yard line. Pinkston goes in motion. Little tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. With the deflection. Oh, Little managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion. Way to prevent the big play. It'll be second down. Check out those interceptions over his career. What a ball hawk. Westbrook carries it off the toss and gains about three yards. Third down, goal to go. is the incompletion. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. <laughs> Akers with a 23-yarder and is good. puts it straight That's through right the uprights there. and good. Oh. Coy Detmer handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. David Akers kicking off for the Eagles. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers booms a beauty here. Morgan downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Browns are fading fast and are in need of a score. Their offense will start this vital drive at their own 20-yard line. Morgan goes in motion. Sucks. Barrel 
Bortles off his left guard and picks up eight yards on the play. Number 26 with the tackle. Second and two. Ball at the Browns, 28-yard line. Winslow Passes puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the, the ball. Receiver. Incomplete. Number 26 with the cover. Garcia has had difficulties to say the least, and now he's second guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he struggled to get 93 yards and three interceptions. Third and two. Ball at the Browns, 28-yard line. Morgan goes in motion. Garcia lobs this one over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Number three Number lines three up to punt, punt after the three and out. Number 34 to make the return. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Mahe catches it at the 35. Drag down at the 42. Reno Mahe got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. First the Eagles' ten, offense will start this drive at their 42-yard line. <laughs> Westbrook gets the handoff and heads out right. Tackled at the 45. Second and seven. Ball at the Eagles, 45-yard line. Pinkston goes in motion. Richie picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. John Richie got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Check that out. Those last year numbers are solid. Richie has his number called on third down and picks up the first down. Face mask, number 24, defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Robert Griffith clearly tugs on the face mask here. You just can't do that and get away with it. Check it out. Yep, there's the flag. Definite face mask. That's a personal foul. I'm coming, Nick. First and 10. Ball at the 32-yard line. Owens hauls in the pass, and <laughs> that's a gain of seven on the play. Wayne was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culver has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. The trainers have just informed me that he suffered a broken toe. They're taping him, but it may not be enough. I've been told that his return is questionable. Back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susan. Westbrook goes right up the middle and barely picks up the first down. First down, Eagles. 
First down, one man down. Ball at the 21. Westbrook gets the call on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Brian Westbrook had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much second there. It'll be second down. Oh, Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. McNabb zips it to the left sideline, and it's incomplete. L.J. Smith muffed an almost guaranteed catch there. And as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. That's his first drop of the game. And while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that. Well, that would have been a tough catch. Bring up fourth down. Earl Little got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive deep. Fourth down. Eight yards to go. Akers kicks from 37 the yards out, and is good. it's good. David Akers sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered David by Akers Pollen. Watch it. Sorry, evening. that makes no sense at all. All right. All. Sorry. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Akers rockets this one deep. Morgan decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 23. Quincy Morgan got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Browns haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 23-yard line. Takes it across the line of strange and will gain close to six. Second and three. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Hyden goes in motion. Suggs Number picks up a yard on the, the play, carrier. and that brings up third down. With the Lee tackle. Suggs used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there, but third they'll get another two. shot on third Ball and short. Browns, 30 yard line. <laughs> Garcia throws a heater right sideline, and the it's intercepted. Eagles. Runs out at the 45. Sheldon Brown shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. The Eagles come out on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at the 45-yard line. Kingston goes in motion. Kuti makes his fourth carry of the game and picks up a couple. Second, Second down, seven. three wideouts in the game. Oh, 43. Courtney Brown anticipated the screen pass, got in there, and prevented that running back from catching the pass. The pass. 
Lahan tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Michael Lahan managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Johnson lines up for the punt. Johnson gets the snap and punts it away. Morgan fields the punt the at the 14. The Tackled at the 19. Quincy Morgan fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Browns need to score here before half to have a chance later. They'll start at their own 19-yard line. is out to the left side Number and picks up a couple. Carrier, Darwin Walker with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball at the Browns, 21 yard line. Suggs gets the call again, and heads left, tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Lee Suggs has got a bunch of carries, and you can see by his chart here how his running performance breaks down, mostly to the outside, and it's working okay, although I'd like to see him mix it up a little bit more. So far, he's got 40 yards on 16 carries. Third down from the eye. Ball at the ground, 24 yard line. Morgan bobbles and drops it incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Quincy Morgan had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, I tell you, he, he seems to be in a bit of a funk recently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's his fourth ball thrown his way, and, and he can't reel them in. Yeah, funky, Dan. He's just got to grab one to get his confidence back, though. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Stop at the 43. Reno Mahe racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Eagles stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 43-yard line. Didn't haul incomplete. that one in, and it falls Chad incomplete. The intended receiver. Sean Thompson had Number superb coverage on that play. Coverage. No wonder it was incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top Second of it and, and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Pinkston goes in motion. Throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. I thought that he would have been the loser in that matchup, Peter, but somehow he made the tackle. It's real hard to bring down someone that much stronger than you, but he had the perfect angle to make the play. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Owens snags first the down. dart. The Eagles the take their first time out. First and ten. Ball at the 36-yard line. McNabb holds this one to the left, and First he down. connects at the 19. 
tackled, and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up first down. Oh, look there. 150 plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. Pinkston tags the missile, and that's good for six. Pass complete. Warwick Holdman with the tackle. Richie has his number called on second. Eagles take a timeout. That's their second. Third down, tight end to the left. Down Woo! Yeah! Come on, give it up! Yeah, baby! Greg Lewis had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. They score again, and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay focused, this game is theirs. Let's go, David baby. Akers Don't to attempt the extra point. Number 10, holding. <laughs> Now the extra point, the and extra point is good. it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, keep this thing on me, okay, okay. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers, booms a beauty here. The Browns let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. First the Browns' ten, offense ten. takes the field with the clock at 16. Suggs goes in motion. Garcia throws a heater and first it's caught at the 34. And he stopped right there. It will be first down. Quincy Morgan had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. You can almost hear a little sigh of relief after he made that grab, Peter. He's been butterfingers all day and has dropped some big catches. That's true, but I do like how he's kept his head in the game and he came down with that one. It's all about putting the past behind you. First down, two wideouts on the field. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Eagles in command of this one, 37-7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dave. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Browns are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Earl Little was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Eagles early in the first quarter, ball at the 44. Earl Little is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Browns, after getting an interception, Dennis Northcutt emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. They strike first and go up by seven. Eagles still midway through the first quarter. Terrell Owens came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 53-yard play that set up an Eagle touchdown. Game tied, seven all. Sheldon Brown would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Eagles still midway through the first quarter. The Eagles have the ball at the nine. Donovan McNabb would put this pass right where it needed to be. An eight yard touchdown for the Eagles. Brown midway through the first. Brown's behind by seven. Donnie Jones was able to step in front of this pass and pick one off. But he wasn't done there. They move ahead by 14. 
the Eagles on defense. Anthony Henry is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Eagles out in front, 21 to seven. Donovan McNabb would find his target on this one. That set up a 32 yard field goal. The Eagles have opened it up and now lead by 17. Brown's middle of the second. Brian Dawkins would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Eagles late into the second quarter. Eagles winning by 20. David Akers is called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. They've opened it up now and lead by 23. Eagles late in the second quarter. Donovan McNabb connected with his man on this one. A 24-yard play that set up an Eagle touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Browns are down big at halftime, 37-7. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Donovan McNabb has been unstoppable. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Browns will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are going to need a bunch of scores to David get back Aker, into this one. For the Eagles. Currently, they're down 37-7. Let's get down to the field and the action. Morgan downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Browns' baby. offense Offense takes the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their own 20-yard line. Garcia throws a bullet to the flat, and he connects at the 19, runs out of bounds at the 23. Jeff Garcia has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 110 yards and four interceptions. Second and seven. Ball at the Brown, 23-yard line. Down! Go, 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 go! Gray, 25! Gray, 25! Ware makes a play on this and forces the Number incompletion. With the deflection. Matt Ware came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Northcutt goes in motion. Goal, 52. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Hut, hut, hut. Garcia fires this one over the middle, and it's Passes knocked away incomplete. from the receiver incomplete. Andre Davis was the intended receiver. Number 26. Lito Shepard doesn't need any assistance to force the incompletion here. That is just textbook zone coverage, Peter. Absolutely, Dan, and it begins with knowing how the play is going to come together. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it Number sure three, was. Perfect D for that situation. Number and three, it will bring up fourth down. Number three gets ready to punt this away. <laughs> Number three takes the long snap and punts it away. Fields the punt at the 40. The Brought down at the 45. Reno Mahe didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. First and 10, Philadelphia. The Eagles have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their 45-yard line. Brown, 69. <laughs> 
Number 36. Brian the Westbrook had blockers on his side on that Mark last play, Bolton but the defense the was too smart. It gave him Come nowhere on. to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and nine. Ball at the Eagles, 45-yard line. Westbrook will take the handoff and runs into traffic. Tackled at the 47. Third down, empty backfield. McNabb passes a high, long one, and it's off incomplete. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. You gonna be all right? Check this out. You see this right here? You feel this? All right. I had hurt. Right there, right there. Don't worry, just. Oh, gonna be all right, man. You're gonna be all right. Let me help you. Let me help you. Come on, come on. Come on. I need to get back to us. You want to go? You gonna be all right to play? Johnson lines up to punt after the three and out. Quincy Morgan to make the return. Johnson takes the snap and punts it away. Morgan takes it at the 15. Drag down at the 23. Quincy Morgan did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Browns are fading fast and are in need of a score. Their offense will start this vital drive at their own 23-yard line. Northcutt goes in motion. Garcia zings it to the right side and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Jeff Garcia zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty-handed. Man, what ball placement. Check air, check air. Second, Second down from the shotgun. Ball at the Browns, 26-yard line. Suggs takes it for his 17th carry and picks up a couple. Number 44, the ball carrier. Naduke Kalu with the tackle. Third and five. Ball at the Browns, 28-yard line. Suggs gets the call on third down and hits one right. Eventually pushed out of bounds at the 40. It will be first down. Brian Dawkins lets the ball carrier get past the markers and a bunch more before he can stop him. There's the push to send him out of bounds. Very forceful, but really almost pointless. Yeah, like smashing the barn door after the horses are already escaped. The defense just can't contain them in this third down situation and allow the first. You know, Dan, that's a gut check down. You can't let them run all over you like that. Single back! Single back! It's intercepted. One man to beat, no one in front of him. Touchdown! Touchdown. So sweet. Uh, check it out. Uh. Lito Shepard picks off the ball and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Another touchdown, and they are really running away with this one. <laughs> the crazy thing is, they aren't showing any signs of slowing down. David Akers to attempt the extra point. Number 10, holding. Here's the point after, the extra and point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Akers rockets this one deep. 
Northcutt downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Browns were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Hyden goes in motion. Green takes his first carry of the game and gains about three yards. Little had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors. They said he's suffering from a hyperextended elbow. They're trying to find a brace that will mitigate the pain, but nothing seems to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Guys, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Number Thank 44, you, Susie. Suggs carrier. has his number called Keith on Adams second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Keith Adams targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his Third second tackle so far. Ball at the Browns, 23-yard line. Garcia puts his arm into this one and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver. Lito Shepard for sitting back in the zone the waiting for the pass and then closes enough to force the incompletion. Nice job. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring yeah, up cool. fourth down. Number three, oh, on, Number three lines up for the punt. Number 34 to make the return. <laughs> Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Mahe fields the punt at the 41. Tackled at the 45. Reno Mahe racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. First the Eagles the get great field position yet again. They'll start this one at the 45-yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Brian Westbrook didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not second much there. Down. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Eventually down slides down at the 30. That will bring up first down. Donovan McNabb had no one to throw to, so he just tucked it under and went for it. It's worth another look. If it wasn't for that scramble, he would have been toast. Owens goes in motion. He'll get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. Ball carrier. Kennard Lang with the tackle. Second down, both tight ends left. Ball at the 27th. Westbrook gets the call again and searches for a hole. The 26. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. <laughs> McNabb unloads this one to the left, and the it falls incomplete. incomplete. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. <laughs> Akers with the 43-yard attempt and has it sailed just left of the upright. 
David Akers misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. You tee it up that many times, you're bound to miss some of them. Ooh, he's given that foot quite a workout today, Dan. Maybe he should switch and use the other one next time. The Browns will start this first play of the drive at their 33-yard line. on his left guard and gains about three yards. Do it all day, guys. All day. Woo! Watch that Second counter. and Watch seven. That Ball at the Browns, 36-yard line. Luther, Luther, Luther. I need a black 58. I need a black 58. Just do this side. Just do this side. <laughs> Brown hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the Number ball incomplete. The receiver. Sheldon Brown Number stayed so close to his assignment he could have taken his calls for him. <laughs> incomplete pass. Going Third and seven. Ball at the Browns, 36 yard line. Garcia throws a bullet and it's tipped. Is incomplete. incomplete. Fourth down Dahani coming up. With the deflection. Dahani Jones yeah, swatted that yeah, one away yeah. cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting there. Another batted ball. And they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Number three, Number three lines up to punt formation. after the three and out. Number 34 to make the return. Number three gets the snap and punts it away. Gets it at the 27. Tackled at the 31. Reno Mahe got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Eagles have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at the 31-yard line. Westbrook goes in motion. Green 22. McNabb gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Number 25. Chris Crocker swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top Second of it and, and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Catches the lob first over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Chad Lewis drew three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on ten. a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people nine. still associate receivers with speed, but right here, height was what did it. Well, look there, he's up over 300 yards for the day. Westbrook gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Number 54 with the tackle. Yeah, baby, going nowhere. Check air, second check and air. seven. Ball at the 46-yard line. Intercepted. One man to beat. No one in front of him. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Browns. Robert Griffith picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Well, they get the score, Peter, but it doesn't seem to make much of a dent, does it? Well, not really. If a touchdown counted for 60 instead of 6, well, it'd be a different story. But as it is, they are still down large. Now the point after, and The extra it's point good. is good. There's 
the signal, and we're ready. Dawson kicks this one away. Wynn fields it all the way back at the two. Bang down at the 27. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. They've turned the ball over, but they have survived their mistakes. But you can't survive that kind of sloppy play for long. It's going to come back to bite you. Dexter Wynn was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. First and ten, Philadelphia. Richie goes in motion. Westbrook has his number called on first down and he passes the line. Brought down at the 27. Warwick Coldman with the tackle. Watch the pass. Second and 10. Ball at the Eagles, 27 yard line. Westbrook calls it in right side, and six that's good for six. Brian Westbrook must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. He reels in another one today. I wonder what they put in his oatmeal this morning. Probably the passing playbook. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Westbrook will get the carry on third down, and is dropped short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Kennard Lang just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Johnson gets ready to punt this away. Johnson gets the snap and punts it away. Morgan heals the punt at the 23. Stop at the 34. Quincy Morgan racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Browns haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 34-yard line. Davis goes in motion. Garcia rifles it out left side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. My leg, man. My leg. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. It's all right. That's all right. I got you. Come on. Come on, guys. Make some noise. First down, two receivers to the left. The Browns, 48 yard line. Suggs bulldozes right of center and picks up a couple. Lee Suggs played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Suggs chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. With the tackle. Come on, Browns, let's go. We need a first down. Let's stop it. Third and four. Keep them out of field goal. Ball at the 46-yard line. Morgan catches the heater left sideline, and they convert on third down. Quincy Morgan got wide open and made the easy grab. Great job to take advantage of the D's confusion. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Garcia unloads this one to the left, and it's complete at the 24. And he stopped right there. First down. Kellen wins 
Lagoon chases down two defenders. He comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Jackson back at the 27. Dawkins was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. He came off the field complaining of leg cramps, and the trainers are saying exactly that. He's stretching it out on the sideline. He told me he feels fine. We'll see when the trainers clear him to go back in. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. Gets the call on second down and chews up about four on the play. Convert it, Garcia. Come on. You can do it. Time to make a stand. Third and nine. Let's make a stand. Ball at the 23. Single back. Down. <laughs> Brown Passes makes a play on this and forces Number the incompletion. The It'll be fourth down. Sheldon Brown came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Fourth down, nine yards to go. Dawson kicks from 40 yards out and... Squeezes it inside the right goal post. Bill Dawson gets the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Dawson booms a beauty here. Wynn decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 21. Dexter Wynn took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. First and 10. Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those receiving yards. Richie picks up about two, and that will bring Number up second down. With the tackle. John Richie had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. He's got such a vice-like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp, even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runners. Absolutely. Owens goes in motion. Westbrook dodges this one way out right First and down, gets forced out past the markers. Oh, Brian Westbrook sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 81 yards on 28 carries. They're going air. They're going First air. and 10. Ball at the Eagles, 34-yard line. Westbrook will get the handoff and heads up field. Tackled at the 39. Second down, one man back. Ball at the Eagles, 39-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Westbrook carries it for a third time in a row and gets well past the markers for a first. First down, Eagles. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. He gets another call, and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these first last three ten. plays. <laughs> hey, until it stops working, there's no reason to look elsewhere. Three, 
Westbrook gets yet another carry for the day and chews up about four on the play. Warwick Coleman with the tackle. Second and six. Ball at the 48-yard line. Brian Westbrook powered Ball forward carrier. with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Was Problem the was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. McNabb throws this on a rope, and it's intercepted. Intercepted at the 47. Dalen McCutcheon does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Browns' offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at their 47-yard line. Morgan goes in motion. Suggs gets the call on first down and heads out right. Drag down at the 46. Lee Suggs can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. They move the ball That's and the it will be second quarter. down. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Eagles in command of this one, 44 to 17. Garcia throws a bullet to the flat and it's tipped incomplete. Holding, number 68, offense. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Chad Beasley Repeat clearly held down. his man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Ball at the Browns, 44 yard line. Hyden goes in motion. Hyden grabs the first rope right side down. and gets past the markers for a first down. Jeff Garcia sings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this. <laughs> they could be in big trouble. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Garcia throws a heater right sideline and it's caught at the 34. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, there they are. Today's injuries and both teams have lost some players. This is where the bench needs to step up and do their job. Quincy Morgan got wide open and made the easy grab. Great job to take advantage of the D's confusion. You can almost hear a little sigh Second of relief after he made that grab, and Peter. He's been butterfingers all day and has dropped some big catches. That's true, but I do like how he's kept his head in the game and came down with that one. It, it's all about putting the past behind you. Suggs takes this one way out left and picks up a couple. Third down, Third just a single receiver on the field. Morgan goes in motion. Garcia floats this one out to the right sidelines, and the reception's made at the eighth, and he stopped right there. It'll be first and goal. Quincy Morgan almost bobbled this one away. 
but manages to keep possession. Way to keep your cool. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Suggs goes right up the middle and heads left, right down the at the carrier. one. Lee Michael Suggs Lewis played smart the and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to Lock get them into a second and Lock short and situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Hyden goes in motion. on second down and runs into traffic. Simon takes him down back at the three. Corey Simon targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage and that will bring up third down. Third down, goal to go. This pass will pass fall harmlessly to the ground, and oh, it's incomplete. Bomb, that will bring up bring fourth it. and goal. It, yeah, I told you. Let's go. Oh. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number three, holding. Dawson from 20 yards, and it's good. Bill Dawson has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Dawson kicks this one away. Win fields this one deep at the one. Crank down at the 23. Dexter Wynn got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. First and 10. The Eagles had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 23-yard line. Now, forks back to the left sideline, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Come on, you guys. we got to pick this up, man. This is terrible. Donovan McNabb makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. He adds another completion to his strong numbers today, Peter. Yeah, he sets the bar pretty high for himself, but I imagine he's happy with his consistent performance today. in the flat and Number picks up maybe a yard. Warwick Holden oh, with the tackle. Oh, 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 I'm coming, Second man, and I'm eight. Coming. Ball at the Eagles, 40-yard line. McNabb slips it to the left sideline, and the completion is good for six. Darrell Owens was getting double coverage there, but it wasn't enough to stop him from making the catch. We've been saying his name a lot today, and with good reason. He has not slacked off at all. And he's finishing really strong, too. Third down, empty backfield. Westbrook goes in motion. Reels in the football, and they convert on third down. Donovan McNabb First threw down, the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. That's the third time today he's hit a receiver way downfield. Well, his arm didn't come cheap for this team, so they might as well get their money's worth. McNabb zings it to the right side, and it's incomplete. 
Todd Pinkston, Todd Pinkston Muffed an almost guaranteed catch receiver. there. And as a receiver, you have to carry your weight cover. and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. That's his first drop of the game. And while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Has this one fly off his fingertips incomplete. Terrell Owens got a hand in there, but only enough to tip it away. <laughs> Frustrating. That would have set up a very manageable third and short play, Peter, but they couldn't sync up on that one. That's a tough break. Third down and four wideouts in the game. McNabb really right over this pass. Wow, the ball is caught at the 28. Finally stopped at the 23. First down. Terrell Owens took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. I'm sure he's glad to finally make a completion, considering he's already dropped two today. Yeah, first and Look 10. at that. Over 200 yards. Can anybody stop this guy? Thompson sacks him back at the 26. Sean Thompson dropped the quarterback like a sack lunch behind the line. <laughs> That'll cost him a few. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Westbrook launches this one left of center and picks up eight yards on the play. Brian Westbrook can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> Lewis makes the catch. Yeah, no. Touchdown. Donovan McNabb gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. Another big play reception, and who else would it be? He's David been all Aker over the field to today. The what a point. player, and what a game. Number 10, holding. Now the extra point, the and extra point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers, whom's a beauty here? Morgan downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Browns get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Carries this one off to the right and picks up a couple. Lee Suggs powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Simon gets the sack way back at the 11. Corey Simon had the quarterback cornered way back downfield there, and he sacked him for a major loss of yards. That'll be his first sack of the game. Let's, go Let's make a stand. Ball at the Browns, 11-yard line. Down. Northcutt goes in motion. Gray, 25. Gray, 25. Garcia throws a bullet to the flat and the con. However, it's short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. 
Dexter Wynn made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Number three, in punt Number three lines up deep Number in his own territory to punt it away. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Mahe takes it at the 47, brought down at the 44.